Hello everyone, uh, it's a sad day. Actually, it's not really that bad. It's gonna be an easy fix, but the excursion kind of let me down a little bit. My wife and I went on a, an 800 mile trip total. We drove out of state to visit family for uh, Christmas and New Year's and that, and came back and uh, 800 mile trip total. And I kid you not, five minutes from home, the last few miles we had on the trip away from home, I'm making a turn. And all of a sudden I hear a pop and then I lose power steering and power brakes. So obviously with this thing being hydro boost, you know it has something to do with either power steering lines, power steering pump. We're at 368,767 miles. So let's uh, take a look under the hood. I'll show you what happened. There's a line here that connects to the power steering pump. You can see the little fitting right there on the side of the pump. That is the pressure line where the pressurized fluid comes out of the pump. But as you can see, the line is sitting down here disconnected. And that's the line that blew out. It's basically just a little swivel fitting. And I'm guessing after 370,000 miles of usage, it finally just wore out and blew out of the pump. <laughs> this power steering, I'm not joking guys. This power steering fluid here, which is basically transmission fluid, is original. Just about 20 years old, 19, almost 20 years old, and 370,000 miles. Not a single part on the steering gearbox down there, the hydro boost, uh, brake booster, or any of these lines or the fluid has been touched. Everything is one hundred percent original and i think that is super impressive that is just absolutely amazing it's never leaked it's never had any problems nothing just absolutely amazing so fortunately this is going to be a really easy fix i got to get the truck back on the road so i'm just going to replace the one line here that runs from the pump up to this fitting here which goes to the booster so it's going to be a real easy fix. I like how these fittings are really easy to get to. The way this works is the, the power steering pump generates pressure by pumping the fluid. It goes to the booster first, so your brakes get priority. And then after it goes through the booster and does its job there, gives you pressure there, goes down to the steering gear and gives you power steering. From there it runs through a cooler and then back into this line here which goes into the reservoir and it repeats the cycle all over again. So I've got the part, we're gonna get the old line out of there, take that old fitting off there, put our new part on, fill it up with fluid, do our best to get the air out of it, bleed the air out, and hopefully there's no other issues with it and we should have this truck back on the road. Here's the part, you can see the little fitting here that goes up to the hydro boost and this fitting here which threads into the power steering pump. First I'm gonna get the return line out of the way, position it out of the way here so we've got some more room to work. Stay. Now I've already uh, loosened this up a little bit, should have gotten that line out of the way first but anyway tip for you guys get that line out of the way first so it'll make it easier. And you're gonna need an 18 millimeter wrench. I'm just gonna loosen that up Unfortunately, my ratcheting wrench is not here with me at home in the garage. It's at work, so I'm just going to do what I can with a regular box end wrench here. We're going to loosen that fitting up, take it out all the way, see if I can reach down there and get it by hand. I think I can. There we go. Now it's coming out. Oh, dropped it. Oh well, that's all right. I'll get that later. So the old fitting is out. And we're ready to put the new line in on the pump, but first let's disconnect the other line here from the Hydro Boost. Next up here, you're going to need a 21 millimeter wrench to hold the fitting in place while you use the 19 I'm sorry, the 18 millimeter wrench to take the uh, to take the line fitting off. So you got your coupler here, right there, and then you take your 18 millimeter wrench to get the fitting off, just like that. Take that off the rest of the way, and then the line will come off. And there we go, line's loose. So we're just gonna pull this thing up here. Get it out. Wiggle it around a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, and there's the line. 
So, the little fitting that I dropped earlier, you can see that's what holds it in place. But it just wore out over time and blew off. So, fortunately, it's easy repair. All we got to do is throw the new line back on and fill it back up. All right, here we go. The new line's on, tight. Up here's tight. I kind of rerouted these wires here and the return line a little bit. I'm really particular about not having stuff touching, so I wanted to make sure there was a little clearance there and a little clearance down there. So, no, that's touching here. These are just resting on the zip ties, so we're good there. There's no excessive stress or pulling on anything, so we'll be all right. A little bit different routing up here, but it'll hold it all in place and keep it from rubbing against each other. Got our transmission fluid here and power steering fluid. I'm gonna fill this thing up and then uh, start it up. Let it run for a little bit, bleed the air out. Oops, spill a little bit, oh well. It's not like there wasn't already a bunch on the ground anyway. And fill that up there, top it off. So I'm gonna start it, let it run for a little bit, and shut it down. And then we'll keep topping it off and repeating that until we get everything full fluid again. See what that looks like. Oh yeah, it took it down. Wow, it gulped it down too. All right, everything seems to be good, no leaks. Uh, we kept all the air out of the system, which is great. I'm really happy about that. It just makes the whole job that much easier. We're a little bit low. I got another container of the transmission slash power steering fluid here, it's Mercon V. So I'm gonna top this off a little bit, check it with the dipstick here, and then we'll be done. So there you go, guys, that's it, all fixed. Now it's interesting, I've noticed as I back into the garage here. I've noticed that the steering is much easier. Steering is a lot easier, and the pump is also a little louder than usual. So I don't know if that's because maybe there's a little air in the line, or the pump is working a little bit harder because the fluid is flowing freely, but that doesn't make sense. Anyway, the pump's a little bit louder, but the steering is so much easier. It's amazing how much of a difference that new fluid made. So. Maybe next time I won't wait 370,000 miles to change the fluid. All right, guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Excursion for life, 7-3 for life. I'll see you guys in the next video.